on their mistakes. Yep. So and he three would him like that, and that so he made the great option. In right. So I think it's losers finals now. Finals already. Yes. All right. I guess we're going to losers. All right. Oh, it was. That was that was losers finals. Our bad. Uh, so now it is. Grand now finals. it's grand. Gotcha. All right. I wasn't sure if winners finals had already been played, but yeah, grands. Sure. Yay, grand finals. All right. All right, Oryx versus Kaze. <laughs> All right. They know each other really well, so they know the matchup against each other. So they have to read really heavy to win this match. Overall, I just think that these two players just play each other a lot. As if you guys don't know, they're both SWG. So, they seem to like hang out together, they like practice together, so this honestly might be treated more so like a really serious friendly between them. Yeah, they're even doubles partners. Yeah. So they both know like the ins and outs of like each other's like mistakes and habits. And if you didn't know, um, they, their team won doubles. They did! Interesting. I know, like Jason and I fought them and they're really good. Getting all yeah. of the cash money, all of it. Yeah. Like all mine. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they came back after Aerolink and Frost beat them and beat Frost and Aerolink in Grand Finals. So now we got attempted at a hard read with that Peach Bomber, but not gonna be able to get it. Just slides back on the ground. You see that could have been a parasol. That's Ooh. that looked like a parasol moment, but he was in focus. So I think that might have been what Kaze was doing that Ooh, high. That was very dangerous. Get up. That was not made it back. Ooh! Dash attack straight to assure you can kill him. Nicely done with a perfect shield too. Kaze is definitely one of these people that whenever he gets a lead, he just does not want to approach. See him like retre retreating even to the platform, like just to get like as much stage control as possible. Oh, not gonna kill from the other side of the stage. Not clipping Orex with that side B like he had hoped, so he gets punished. Delay is up B in case like a Nair comes out from Peach or like a Fair. An interesting grab option to cover that landing. I guess he just wants to get more damage on right now because he knows he can't. Uh, I'm sure you can kill. No, he can. Right now, he can sure you can kill. Oh, wow. This low? Yes. Oh, wow. Woo -hoo. Magnet hands. See, he's trying for it. That's. Ooh, that was almost it. Yeah, like. Yeah. Orx was playing super patient, super, like, spacey. Just like, really careful. <laughs> the reverse Ooh. down shield, shield pressure. Ooh. Going just... for the double shore you can bait, not gonna work versus somebody that plays you a million times, you know? Yeah. Or maybe they always fall for it a million times, and maybe that's how, <laughs> that maybe that's how it works. That shield's getting really low for Beach. Yeah, but Peach can kind of like safely like regain her shield by floating or like just like stalling back her recovery kind of like what you just saw. Ooh, very nicely done with a consistent <laughs> down tilt. And, uh, sure you can. Really just spamming that down tilt button just trying to free like the yeah. very very second that Oryx makes any possible move. He gets immediately in there for that confirm. That's like one of the scariest things to me when playing a Ryu is trying to get back on stage from ledge because they get his tilt for days and you can't get past that wall of elbow or foot. I think he was trying to go for a grab out of that down air but not able to get it immediately. 
Towards, I mean, sorry, uh, Kaze is approaching pretty well. Like, I agree with, like, the trying to go and grab, but now you're just kind of getting walled. Big damage right here. 54, 71. He's bringing it back. The, oh my god. <laughs> you can't stop his momentum. Whenever this guy gets going, it's oh, like... Oh, straight to death. He just doesn't stop. Wow. It's like... That combo that Peach did meant nothing. Nice forward air, but that will not kill. Unfortunately, not from the other side of the stage. Yeah, it, it would be, have to be mid-stage before it can kill. At this percent around there. Trying for the really... Oh no! He ran out of... He ran out of float. That's a first. Wow. All right. So, will Kaze reset the bracket? Or will Oryx make a comeback? Oh, Lucina. Lucina. So now it's not Kaze that's breaking out the Lucina. Now it's Oryx. Maybe they both have a Lucina. I guess. Everybody's picking up Lucina. Whenever Zero started playing, they're like, you know what? She's, she's cute. All right, she's good, and she kills it like 70 with an F smash. All three of those things are true. You guys don't know, Kurigone Hammer, like, like for Marth, like they have like precision is his playstyle, and then for Lucina, F smash, just F smash. That's her playstyle apparently. So let's see if we can see some of that clean playstyle in here. Really nice. And, F smashes. And it's a, it a lot of better option for the close combat for Lucina. So, we got really good spacing coming out from Oryx. Just like coming out with fares, making sure that even though it's just Lucina, they're all tipped. Fortunately, Oryx keeps on neutral getting get upping into up tilts. Yeah, it's making um, Oryx only option to get back on stage is roll. Oh! I think Oryx did go for the shield breaker right there. I saw like her hand come back for it, but shield breaker is not gonna break. Yeah. <laughs> sure you can. Oh! Or is it though? <laughs> oh, finally a broken shield. I am glad. Such that is the good amazing. spacing. And for him to just get caught on the bench. For him to just okay go over here, forward smash you're dead. Doesn't matter. But what's even better about playing Lucina is that you don't have to space any of your special moves, and they do all of the same damage no matter where you hit them. So it, that includes shield Ooh. damage. He tried to get that spike, but so on air dodge the last time. It makes her shield breaker a lot more effective. Calling out the rolls with the. I guess the fire tokens. <laughs> they move a little bit slower. Oh, it gets a spike. Very nicely done with the setup with tilts. And I think that Oryx might have just jumped into that, which such a hard decision because if you roll, there's not much lag for like Kaze's up tilt. So he could just turn around, walk a little bit, up tilt, and then sure you can you. Yep. So he's so switching it. back to Peach. And the um, bracket is reset. That didn't work out well for him. But... Let's see how Peach works out again. Going back to what you know best. But you know, never hurts to try something new. You know, like, just to see if it would work, if it would be easier. Yeah. I mean, it was working pretty well. So Kaze just like, Destroyed sure you him. can. Things were not spaced, and sure you can happen. I think majority of it was the recovery options that you had. Yeah, like a lot of like just neutral get upping. Yeah, this game is just strictly punished. Oh, good tech! That saved him. Definitely, because I believe he was wasting a lot of his float as well. Back throw, not gonna kill. Using the Hadoken to stall. Oh, very nicely done. It does not kill though. 
I'm surprised that it sent him the other way. Hatsubaki is a really weird move. Like, I know, like, if you get hit by it once, it only has one hitbox, really. So, like, if it hits your shield, then you could just run up and punish it. It won't hit you again. Oh, but where it hits you, it's like, it's kind of random as to what direction it'll send you. Nicely done catching with the forwards, um, forward air. Oh, <laughs> trying to get that shield break. Oh, straight into the Shoryuken. Nicely. The mid air Shoryuken. I'm not sure what that was. Was that like an up air to Shoryuken? Or. Or exactly. Was it like a um, up tilt into a. Up no, air? no, it was mid air. So it wouldn't have been up tilt, no. No, like a up tilt to up air. Oh, no. That, that's dead because he didn't have a jump. Dude. Kinda sad whenever you're like you're floating, you're like, yeah, I'm alive, and then the inside you know you're dead. Pretty much. Oh man. Maybe the color change will help. Who Maybe knows? it will. Not feeling the red, I guess. Overall, just trying to space each other out using bears from both characters. Yeah. Ooh, very nicely done, Tekken. I think guy. that was an intentional fake out for the fair. To, like, kind of bait out either a shield or a, a focus from Ryu. You can do the same thing with Cloud. Then actually getting the Phantom hit on that back air. Phantoms are actually still a thing? Yeah, like. If you could see it, like, there's like a little tiny spark if you miss oh, barely. Okay. It'll be like a little tiny, like, orange spark. Yeah. Nintendo not, still not fixing it. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of unavoidable. Then if you guys don't know, like, Peach cannot grab backwards. But as long as she lets go of her parasol, like, Oryx just did, she, uh, she'll be able to grab the ledge again. Interesting. Oh! Oh, he wanted that spike so bad. The yeah, incorrectly and then air dodging will keep him safe during that really hectic time. Ooh! Just doing that, I think, just for shield pressure or maybe just for shock factor? Yeah, I would agree. Ooh, Dragon Actually, Ball Z! <laughs> A! I would know uh, so much about that one right there. Yeah. Interesting. Up tilt from Ryu beats Peach Fair, so I would say that you would either have to space that better or just not get in Ryu's face with Fair. Oh, nicely done catching him with the forward smash, but it's not kill. The tennis racket not gonna kill. But oh, not... but the booty will. Yep. Don't disrespect the rump. I like the little sound that the turnip makes whenever it hits. Oh. Oryx is doing very well with the spacing. I think Battlefield Ooh. is a real big part of that. Just like giving this whole new like... Well, for one, you gets a lot of combos from just extended nares. Like full hop nair to like nair into nair and then like down air or something, right? Yeah. These platforms stop Ryu from doing a lot of those combos. Yeah. And also one of the um, platforms catches um, Shoryuken. Instead of like him wanting to just fast fall to do Shoryuken again. Maybe? I don't, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, but uh, I don't really know what, what you mean. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay, that's fine. Trying for the ledge trump, but Kaze quickly gets up to kind of counteract that. Ooh. Using that as oh an option. Oh my god. Oh my, that was very close. Really good ledge coverage. I, I think, I think Oryx needs more of those just thrown upwards. Because I think that they're serving him better. Because most of them that have been thrown sideways. Wow, that was a late hit from that rainbow. I've been... Yeah, now he's trying for Z-drops. I think he has, like, the same Ooh, thought that I done. do. And you see, as you can see, like, he's getting all of these 
based on turnip play at the ledge. Yeah. Which, maybe just throwing him out at Ryu, like, horizontally isn't the best idea. 3,000 battles! What? The other part is it's covering um, Kaze for recovering low. Exactly! Because the only other option he had was recovering low. So with that Z-drop, he will be able to cover everything. Instant stitch face. Wow. RNG. Oh, oh but he, he catches, catches it. it! Oh, no! But use it. This is very scary. It's silly trying to go for another one. But he doesn't want to let it go. I want it either. That's like a free, what, like 40%, right? Or like 20%? I think it's... A, um, it is between those two. I can't remember the exact number. But he's trying to... Because he's so adamant about just waiting for the platform. Oh, no, he throws it away. All of that, and then you just throw it away? Wow. I guess he just didn't want to risk it or something. I don't yeah. know. I wonder, can you pull another Citrace from when you're holding a Citrace? Yes. Okay. Like, if if a Stitch Face is already in play, then yeah, another one can be pulled. Same with, like, any other item, like a bomb or, like, Mr. Saturn. Yeah. Two of them technically can be, like, done, but it's, like, the odds of getting, like, a bomb or something are, like, 1 in 500. So, I forget the odds for a Stitch Face, but it's definitely... I would guess maybe like one out of 50. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Oh, nice conversion into the Shoryuken. Oh, nice way. Getting the it. racket again, but unfortunately not connecting that down air. I don't know how that did it hit, but okay. It's peach oh. things. He tried to read that roll with a grab. A lot of times you can see people just pivot grabbing, like, kind of like into nothing. That's what you call like a really defensive pivot grab. So like, if somebody like extends their hurt box, you can like grab them out of it. Oh no! He trying ran to... out of the float! Oh, he be reversed. He was trying to be reversed up B. This input it actually did side B. I hate that. I feel all this pain. I did that so much with Yoshi. It was so bad. Oh. Now the costume change. Gonna go through the whole wardrobe Lucky for colors. this. Alright, so. Going back to Smashville. Alright, let's see if the wedding dress will work this time. Jill pressure, then back off. Grabs? Clean 42%. Every game so far, Oryx has started off with a nice combo, but he's, he hasn't been able to finish. That's honestly just because a lot of things that Ryu has are like extremely, like, kind of like not dangerous at lower percents, but whenever you get into high percents, they'll, they'll kill you instantly. Yep. So it makes it a lot more dangerous for Peach to go for all the her kill options like a dash attack or a fair or any smash attacks at high percent because oh. it, either it'll get focused or it'll get sure you can. So she honestly has to rely a lot on her kill throws in this matchup or just like like flat out edge guarding. Oh, try to read with the sure you can but gets perfect shielded and punished. Not frame perfect anymore. And another combo that we I think we saw the same combo the first stock. That nice ledge guard with the blender. Honestly, that's that's the easy part about fighting Ryu is just getting percent on him. Yeah. Wait, once you get to the high percent, you gotta find a kill or he will come back. Like right now. Oh, good di. Oh, kind of at a weird stage of neutral again, where kind of like hit or miss. Trying for the up tilts again, but this time Oryx rolling out of it, which is a really good adaptation. I like it. Not going to kill yet. Oh, it's very close. One more will kill. That'll yeah! kill. Nice parasol. 
can't focus that. You honestly just have to focus cancel and get out of the way of it. Yeah, because the more you're on top of that umbrella, the more it will hit. It's multi-hit, so it'll definitely break you out. Now we got a two, two game, so this will be game point, but maybe a bracket reset. Yeah. Oof. Whose pick is it? It's Kaze's pick, right? It's Kaze's pick? Yes, because Oryx just won. Yeah. So, what stage would be best? What stage would be best? Honestly, Town and City for you. But I mean, you still get a, a bead, but yeah. it's a lot more worth it for. Yeah. Like, Shoryuken's a lot more useful than Parasol. Honestly. So, I would say either Smashville or Town and City would have been Kaze's best bets. He, like in the game, whenever they went on um, battlefield, he just got out pressured. Like he couldn't really land very well versus Oryx. Then on FD, I think that's pretty neutral. I think FT is pretty neutral for both of them. Lilat though, they're going Lilat. Oh my god! I don't know. It's... This makes it hard for Peach to float cancel. I would think. Yeah, that's what I was just about to ask, because. Since the weird angles of Lilat, that could just catch Peach and make her land. Yeah, for example, like if you're trying to float and then if the stage tilts in your direction, if you're going towards the upward part of it, it'll cancel your float. Yeah, so I guess is it is a good pick um, by Kaze. So, I guess we might see some some floats from Oryx that are like higher off the ground. Or maybe he'll use the tilt to his advantage as like a mix up, but. Who knows at this point? Still too early in the match. Being early in the match, it's like. Yeah, it's just like the awkward stage of neutral. None of them really want to approach. trying to wait for each other to mess up and then take advantage going for the back air just kind of like they're both just going for like one hit options like to just immediately get stage control and then maybe get more off of it they're not really going for grabs or like combos at the moment oh, nice and ledge trump now then the re-grab oh oh but not um, taking advantage of it so, not sure what Kaze was doing, landing with that aerial into nothing, but, but maybe he was trying to call it Oryx's approach, which didn't happen. And he Good took patient. a golf club right up the butt. <laughs> Ooh. And covering the roll, then nice Kaze is really for looking the, for a sure you can. Yeah, he wants to get the stock away quick. Up air is two hits, it makes it kind of easy for Oryx to juggle him. Just normally is like you would for with any other character. So I know that some hits of your up air can actually drag down your opponents. So I guess that option is not really readily available. Yeah. And Oryx is just picking um, his counter pick and take a um, full yard. Now one thing I will say about the tilts of the stage is that the turn up angles for it are like easier depending on how the stage is tilting. Back throw and maybe like a possible float. Oh, Trying for the yeah, counter. It's gonna kill. Nice. Then definitely worth it because Oryx had two stocks and Puzzle only had one. Alright. That's is over. Alright. Hey. Rx1. Yeah. Let's go. Peach. Peach is a really fun character. Really fun to watch. Really fun to commentate. It's just... Just something beautiful about seeing someone that technical with a character and doing so well. Tired.
I'm also tired. What time is it? I don't even know. It is 101. It is 1 in the morning because doubles. Thank God I don't have to work tomorrow. And bracket resets. Yes, so Literally many bracket just resets. Like, that was amazing. Everything that could have made this tournament longer happened tonight. So, <laughs> oh. I mean, it was fun. It was really cool to watch. I really like all the play from all the characters, but uh, I'm going to go rest for a little while. <laughs> this, These headphones have affected my hair. Oh, well, I mean, it happens, but hey, tune into Redline. Uh, tune into Redline. Uh, watch us on YouTube. We have kind of a relatively newish uh, YouTube channel if you guys want to see it. Or um, just come to Redline. We're here in Denton, Texas. Uh, just look us up. And also, don't forget, next um, next Saturday is the end of the line tournament. And there is a potluck of $1,600. 1600 bucks. 1600 So... Up to, yeah, up, up to. to 600. So hopefully everybody shows up because that would be so epic. I want so many people to show up, dude. Like aftershock was crazy. Like I, I miss aftershock.